right at the XFL or something like that. Max, I did want to ask you about uh, Lincoln Riley. I know he's he's talking more as we're getting closer to the season, but he had a comment that he had made about um, you know the talent level that he had at Oklahoma. Did you catch yep. that? The, the one where he said he had the third or fourth best talent when he went in the playoff? Yeah, and, and I was just curious of, of how you took that. I mean, I know Oklahoma fans took it one way, of course, and then there's other people that took it other types of ways, but how did, how did you take that, him saying that he always had, you know, the third or fourth, like you said, uh, most talented team in the playoff? Well, you know, with the exception of the Rose Bowl against Georgia, I mean, obviously those playoff games, you know, which, which was you know, a real 50-50 game that they could have won, I mean, in all those other sort of semifinals, they, they kind of got right off the field, especially more recently. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, I kind of get the thinking there just based on his experience. Like, he's not wrong for saying it. Um, I, you know, what he's, the statement he's making is he thinks he can get a lot better teams at USC. And, and I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. I think it's, I think we're, we're seeing, obviously, this offseason has been really hot. And they've, you know, they've certainly leveraged the transfer portal to flip this thing pretty quickly. But, um, I can see why that bothers Oklahoma fans. I, I think Lincoln Riley did really recruit at a, at a high level at Oklahoma, and, and you know maybe arguably as high as he possibly could. And we'll see if Venables can raise that ceiling even more. But you know it, we've we've all been kind of wondering what were some of the motives for Lincoln Riley. Other than you know I think that story also tried to mention that he was making eleven million a year. I yeah, think. Did you see that? Yeah, which is like okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, but, you know, I think, I, I, look, there's not going to be any justification that makes an Oklahoma fan happy about, about what he did. But, right. Um, you know, he, his bet is that they can get even better players at, at FC. And, uh, you know, as, as we saw from their playoff runs at Oklahoma, like, okay, when you've got that team, you still have to put it all together. And, and I'm curious to see how long, how many years that takes before he's got the kind of rosters where he's, he's in better shape uh, at FC than he was, you know, towards the end of Oklahoma. Max, thank you very much.